Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. Again, my name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host of Radio Entrepreneurs, and we continue to stream stories of entrepreneurship uh, every day. And uh, thanks to my team at Radio Entrepreneurs who make that happen. I have very little to do with that. Our next guest is Dean G uh, is it Gida. Gida. Gida, sorry. Uh, as I apologize, that's CEO and co-founder of Infra Logistics. Well, you got me on the names today. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Dean, tell us about the company. Well, uh, 31 years ago, uh, we founded Infragistics and for the purpose of helping developers build simple and beautiful applications. And um, we've been providing ISVs, SIs, enterprises with toolkits for building applications for the last 31 years. So we've gone through a lot of different technology cycles. But what we do is we build UI frameworks for developers building the uh, user interface for web, desktop, and mobile applications. And um, we also really focus on the user experience and, uh, and UX. So when you build something simple and beautiful, it's not just about con the construction and UI patterns of the application, but it's also involving uh, designers, professional developers, and designers. And so uh, we provide both UI and UX tools to uh, professional developers and designers in the market. Well, you've gone global. Uh, what, how was that easy to do, or was that a necessity based upon the kind of work that you do? Well, we we like so we're a really big believer in teams and diversity of thinking and building software for the world. So we wanted, and we have a global company where we have members of our team all around the world so that we're building for every culture and getting um, unique ideas and diversity of thought and how we design and build our software and take care of customers globally. So today we're in Tokyo, London, Eastern Europe, in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, in South America, in Montevideo, in Uruguay. We're in India and our headquarters is in uh, Cranberry, New Jersey. And no, it's not easy to do. I mean, like some of the keys are to really find that one uh, person in country that shares your values and passion and can build a great team around it and um, drive that that subculture that also carries the the overall values of your company and so it's a um, it, it's a time-consuming task but very rewarding are there any particular types of typical client that you're looking at well we sell to like I said we sell to um, other software companies so Intuit built TurboTax Quicken with us uh, Charles Schwab and Fidelity's built their customer facing apps. We're in some of the biggest banks and, and Wall Street firms running their equity trading systems and people choose our web and desktop toolkits because of like the high performance and speed of our grids and data visualization. So for us, we, we sell to all developers and, and uh, application designers around the world and um, our, our larger segments, if you look at our customer base, are software companies, SaaS companies, uh, the enterprise and software integrators. But really we sell to everybody that's building applications, software applications. Interesting. Uh, and do you find certain industries in the software or, or niches within software to be better than others? Well, financial services is a really big segment for us. They spend a lot of money on technology and, um, Certainly, uh, they're some of our bigger customers. So Morgan Stanley, for example, has been a 20 year enterprise customer of ours and a lot of the um, different big banks and bond companies uh, in the financial service market are, are is a really strong market for us. You mentioned uh, Morgan Stanley. Can you give us a sense of some of the other companies you work with? Sure. So um, IKEA has built a lot of internal systems with us. Um, Exxon Mobil used our data visualization in an internal application that they use to determine where they're going to invest and drill for oil. And so we're able to consume hundreds of millions of data points very quickly and then display that in a, in a uh, visualization way. And they're not, so they're another big company that, that we work with. Uh, we work with other companies you may know of, uh, JDA, Epicor, some financial and ERP companies. And uh, we work a lot with um, uh, Credit Suisse, uh, Deutsche Bank, and a really interesting app, maybe for your readers or viewers, um, all the 911 systems in America are run with our software. 
Wow. Well, so you really are a true entrepreneur, both domestically and internationally. When you meet entre young entrepreneurs, what advice do you like to give them? Well, um, I think first focus in on solving a big problem in the market and um, talking to customers as you do that. And then continued learning, always continually learning and building great teams. Um, I always say that, you know, if you're really smart or think you're really smart, um, the team will always make the be a better decision. So building a great team with people that are smart and get things done. And then just having a lot of grit. I mean, don't listen to the naysayers and, um, and, and just go for it. And that's, I think the, the biggest thing is to take care of the customer and then, and then just go for it. Paint that picture of the future and then build that, build it out. Vision to reality. Uh, also, uh, Dean, what kind of uh, new products and services would we be looking to see in the next year, year and a half? So we just shipped um, a new web framework that Microsoft came out with. We work with Microsoft on Blazor. So if you're a web developer building applications, um, uh, Blazor is something we just shipped. Uh, it's a new, new framework from Microsoft. We shipped our UI framework to support that. And towards the end of the year, beginning of next year, our uh, Indigo Design, which is a solving the problem to go from design to code, we're shipping a new low code app builder um, in there where you can use design systems, prototype your app, do unmoderated usability tests, and then we'll generate the code, a uh, production code for that for web, different web frameworks like Angular, React, Blazor, um, with our Indigo design. So that's something that uh, we have a product in market, but we're adding new low code capabilities that we'll be shipping right at the end of this year, beginning of next year. Wow, seems like you're really doing a lot and deserve a lot of congratulations on what you've accomplished so far. Oh, thank um, you. I bet you're not able to travel to see your offices right now. Is that a problem? Well, it's kind of weird, this whole, this whole lockdown. I mean, I, uh, the first two months I hated it. So I travel a lot, as you can imagine, seeing customers and traveling around the world, which I really enjoy. Um, so the first couple of months I really hated it. And then, and then I, lo I liked it, loved it for two months. I mean, I, I, everything slowed down, you know, I have uh, three grown kids, but I got to spend more time with my wife, my family and um, everything slowed down, but yet still just as productive. And, uh, and so it's kind of going through this cycle of liking it, not liking it. And I'm kind of in the not liking it phase where, you know, you just want to get out and about and meet new people and do different things. And so it's, a uh, it's been an adjustment, uh, for all of us. And, um, so for me, it's, 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 it's good and bad. We could write a book uh, or an article on the cycles of COVID for the entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> I think so, it's for everybody. <laughs> uh, but it, it is a little different for entrepreneurs. It's tough when you have so much responsibility, but, uh, Dean, if someone was looking for uh, the company, how would they find it? Uh, you can go to infragistics.com, and since it's kind of a hard name to say, I'll, I'll spell it. It's I-N-F-R-A-G-I-S-T-I-C-S.com. And from there, you could read about our, um, our products, try them out for free, and uh, check them out. Well, and then it, it might be harder to read your name than my company name. I've had the name Mage since 1985, and everybody says to me, what's a Mage? And I go, it's right in the dictionary. You could find it. So it's, uh, but once I explain to people the meaning and why we picked it, it's a lot better. But you can also find Dean after we produce the video, uh, finish it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. If you really had wanted to see uh, Dean multiple times, you can see him on each one of those. Uh, imagine that. So I want to thank you for being on the show today, Dean, and maybe we'll come back again next year and uh, remind everyone this is Radio Entrepreneurs.